Okay, people, we want to we get back into this Blake thing. The last episode was shit, so hopefully this one is better. Okay. These last weeks uh, were the most stressful weeks of my life. I was preparing for the trial. I was ready to face her, ready to tell the truth. Everyone already knew it anyway. Why is this fucking screen so dark like this? Like I, um, the start of the school year was a nightmare. Everyone was looking at me, talking about what happened to me. Oh yeah, and if it wasn't enough, Liam doesn't go to school anymore. He failed the test, and he already repeated, and he already re- repeated twice. They don't want him anymore. Oh, that's why they were saying he was in his fucking twenties, cause the niggas fucking twenty. Shit, god damn. He said he doesn't care, but I care. What's he gonna do now? Bitch, what was the same shit he was doing before, girl. All the situation was stressing me out. Uh, everything's so complicated. Go back to your dead ass mama. You can't stay like that. You're not an adult. For now, we see is your temporary. Well, temporarily your guardian, but if your mother goes to jail, the judge will have to take a decision so i won't stay here is that what you're saying um i can be her guardian until she's 18 unfortunately i don't think that the judge will give you custody of blake you have too many debts and you're not even related to blake i'm afraid there's no chance for you to do that Uh, i don't want to go to a foster family uh, for now, we have to focus on the trial, and I'll find a solution. I'll try to find a solution. Oh, bitch. We didn't think that far. I was counting the days. I wanted it to end. I wanted my mother to pay for what she did to me. I wanted to know what was going to happen next. And after many long days of waiting, the day has come. The trial. Dun dun dun. Is it just me or does Blake Lawyer look like um Stefan Salvatore? <laughs> okay. Mrs. Spider Man, you're accused of child abuse and failure to assist a person in danger on a um on the person of your child, Blake Turner. How do you plead? She's gonna plead not guilty. I plead not guilty, Your Honor, obviously. Cock eyed bitch. Mr. Spencer, you can start. Bruh, he look like he look like Stefan, bruh. <laughs> I call to the stand, Blake Turner. That's it. Miss Turner, you said that your mother hit you. Is it true? Yes, it is. For how long? Since I was a kid. Miss Turner, you know it's not, it's not easy, but you can tell... Well, I know it's not easy, but you can tell your story. You can tell the jury what you've been through during these those all those years. Standing in front of all those people and facing my mother was the hardest thing I had to do. I could see her eyes full of hatred. But I had to do it. I was ready to do it. My mother always hit me. She never loved me. I wish I had a nice mother, but she was never nice to me. She never took care of me. She left me alone in our apartment because she wanted to go out. Sometimes she left me all night long on an empty stomach. God damn. How old were you the first time she uh, left you alone? I was eight. <laughs> dramatic i love it oh i couldn't take care of myself i was too young then she started to hit me when she was angry i was so i was scared i just wanted to be loved oh blakey blake i wasn't that mean don't worry the trial just started i'll take care of her bitch please 
Is she, uh, she is your mother. I'm sure everything wasn't so bad. You always have some good. Uh, you also have some good memories with her, right? No, I don't have any good memories. She never loved me. She never bought me any gifts for my birthday or Christmas. She didn't even uh make me believe in Santa. She never wanted to be. She never wanted me to call her mom. I all I had to call her mother. Otherwise, she start started to get angry. What about your father? I never met my real father. She never wanted to tell me his name. She said that no one would ever want me, not even my real father. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. These fucking sound effects are so fucking dramatic. Honey. So, even if I tried, I never had the chance to find them. Miss Turner, everyone here knows that your mother was married to the famous businessman, John Biderman. What was your relationship with him? He raped me. Objection, your honor. That is irrelevant. This is not John's vitamin judgment. Mm -hmm. Your honor, we all know that Mr. Biderman was dead and obviously he's not going to pay for what he did to my client, but th this is part of her story. The jury has the right to know how Kate Biderman left her husband to rape her daughter for years. Silence, please. The objection is overruled. You may continue, Mr. Spencer. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. So, Ms. Turner, can you tell us more about your stepfather? Ms. Turner? Bitch, Blake! Well, my stepfather was the worst person I ever met. At first, he was he was nice to me. I was a kid, and he always took my side, but my mother was angry after me. Mm -mm -mm. But, but I quickly realized that he wasn't the nice stepfather I thought he was. Miss Turner, can you tell the jury what he did to you? Mm, do I really want to tell? One night, he came in my bedroom while my mother wasn't there, and he raped me. How old were you? I was 15. Was that the only time he touched you? No, it lasted until John died. Silence, please. <laughs> did your mother, did your mother know? Hell no, bitch. Did your mother know? Yes, she knew. I told her. How did she react? She didn't believe me and she hit me. That day, she hit me so hard that she sent me to the hospital. <sighs> did your stepfather hit you too? Sometimes he did. Did your mother know? No. Ugh. She once saw him hit me. I uh I was unconscious when, but when I woke up, she was there. Close that out. And she didn't do anything. She didn't take me to the hospital. They said to the teachers that I was sick and they let me suffer in my bedroom. Oh, damn. Hey. That's all I had to ask you. Oh, that's all I had to ask. Thank you, Miss Turner. Ooh. Here go the ignorant part. Miss Turner. Do you love your mother, Miss Turner? What do you mean? Uh, my question is simple. Do you love your mother? Yes, of course I love her. <laughs> She's my mother. But now I'm but now uh I know for sure that she'll never love me back. And I'm sick of fighting for her love. I'm sick of being sad. I see. Is that the reason why you tried to kill her? What? Objection. There's no proof of that my client tried to kill her mother. Objection overruled. You can continue. Do I need to repeat my question, Miss Turner? I never tried to kill her, but she said you came into the house with a gun and you tried to kill her. You didn't uh, because your boyfriend came in just in time. Please stop lying, Miss Turner. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. My client is not a liar. <laughs> Objection overruled. Stop interrupting us. <laughs> She's lying. I never tried to kill her and I never had a gun. She hates me. She made that up to accuse me of John's murder because all she wants is his money. And she, you know, like she was ready to send me to jail for, for just for money. What kind of mother would do such a thing? Tell me, Mr. Brown. You're not the one asking questions here. 
Well, speaking of Mr. Vitamin, what uh, what if you're saying? Oh, if what you're saying is true, why did you never? Why did you never tell anyone else? As for your mother, why didn't you tell anyone about what she did to you? Because I was afraid of them, and I had nowhere else to go. The day John raped me, I shut myself down. I had no friends, no family, no one. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a big coincidence that you came up with this story just when you were charged with your with the murder of your stepfather. That's all I had to ask. Oh, Mrs. Spider-Man. Is it true that you hit your daughter? Of course not. Bitch, you a liar. I mean, maybe I hit her once or twice when she did something wrong, but isn't that what all parents do? I have the ground... Uh, I have to ground our, we have to ground our children when they do something bad. So you're saying that you never hit her because you were angry or with no reason. Of course, I never hit her with no reason. She's my daughter. I love her. What, bitch? Swear. That's the first time I heard you say that, girl. <laughs> then why are we all here today? What's the point? I don't know. Who am I kidding? Of course I know. She never liked John. She couldn't stand him. When I married him, she started to be mean to him and mean to me. I don't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I tried to make her happy. I really tried, but it was never enough. She was never happy. She hated me uh, because of John. Interesting. Real fucking interesting. Speaking of John, why didn't you do anything when she told you that he raped her? Because John never touched her. I'm sure of that. She was like a daughter to him. He wouldn't do uh something like that he was a respected man he was never home due to his work i'm 100 percent sure that he never touched her when she told me i asked him about her he denied everything i could see he wasn't lying i know my husband <sighs> i'm sure he never touched her she said she had nowhere to go, but you know, but you know, but you need to know that that's not true. She used to sleep with her at her boyfriend's house, so if she was in danger, she could have left our house a long time ago. But she stayed. She stayed with her crazy mother and her perverted stepfather. I'm sorry, but I had to find that hard to believe. What about the day you saw him hit her? I never saw him hit her. That's not true. I would have stopped him if it was true. This bitch a liar, bro. <laughs> Both of these bitches just lying all on the stand. Lying. <laughs> Mr. Spider-Man, I have to uh, ask you a few questions. I have a few questions to ask you. You say you never hit your daughter, so my question is, why are you lying, Miss Spider-Man? Objection. Please, Mr. Spencer, get straight to the point. Miss Spider-Man, a lot of people can testify that you hit your daughter multiple times. Well, they're lying. Are you sure about that? You know, if you tell the truth, the jury will probably be more understanding. That's what I'm doing right now, Mr. Spencer. I have your daughter daughter's medical records. Let's take a look together. Since she's a child, your daughter has been admitted six times with physical injuries. Blows, fractures, internal bleeding, uh, list falls listed as falls and fights with other kids that's not all there's also a suicide attempt she is attempted three wait she was she was admitted three times with the flu the doctor's note says she was unhealthy very skinny and she had a weak immune system could it be because of you because of your blows and mistreatment blake always was clumsy that's all it's hard that's this is hard to believe, Miss Turner. <laughs> Extremely. But anyway, while I'm looking at those what well, at those evidences, I found something even more interesting. While I was looking at this evidence, I found something. You never visit her. The record never mentions you. Your husband was always the one who took her to the hospital then who uh paid the note when she was free to go. 
which means you never visited her while she spent the days in the hospital while she was sick or hurt. Can you explain why a loving mother who doesn't work never came to see her daughter at the hospital? Tell me the reason why you never were there for her. I, yo, oh, oh, I, oh, whoa, what? I was busy doing what? Busy with what, girl? Busy with your lover? What? You were busy cheating on your husband? I, mm, uh, 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 what, what? Can't hear you. That's all I have to ask. Okay, girl. Bitch. <sighs> okay. Here's, okay. How have you met Blake Turner? Joey Hill, actually, if we were friends today, it's because of her mother. Uh, we go to the same school. Well, I never really paid attention to her until she start, uh, until she turned around the boy I wanted. You know high school. You know how high school works anyways. I kind of hated her. I was jealous of her. I mean, look at her. She's smart. She's nice, smart, and beautiful. I thought she had the perfect life with her perfect, rich family. God, I was so wrong. One night, I found her on the street. She was laying on the ground, unconscious. Even if I hated her, I couldn't let her die there. I called an ambulance. We went to the hospital. I stayed with her until she wakes up, until she woke up. I wanted to wait for her parents and that she told me they were that they were not going to come. Uh, that her mother was the one who sent her here. She almost died that night. If I didn't find her, she would have. She would be dead. What did you do after that? I welcomed her to my place. It was Christmas holiday. We started. Uh, we stayed together until school started again. I told her to leave her house and stay with me, but she didn't. She went back to her place. I didn't understand why she did that. I realized later that it was because of her stepfather. When she told me about him, I told her to tell the truth, to talk to the police, but she was too afraid of him. He was rich and powerful and threatened her constantly. She was forced to go back there. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Cole, how long have you known Blake Turner? I've known her since the last year, and we were together for months now. How was she when you met her? She didn't talk much. She had no friends. She seemed kind of sad, but no one paid attention to her, not even me. <laughs> Did she tell you about uh, what she was living? No, she didn't. She always had bruises, but always lied to me until I found her one night in the gar in their garden. She was pretty bad hurt well she was hurt pretty bad that's when she told me about her mother did she tell you about her stepfather no no she didn't how did you find out oh oh i found out uh i found out everything when she tried to kill herself because she couldn't stand this life anymore because her mother hit her and didn't care about her. And because of her, this monster got my girlfriend pregnant. Objection! Against, <laughs> against this is not, again, this is not Mr. Vitamin's judgment. Bitch, this bitch let her husband rape her daughter. And she has to pay for that. Mr. Cole, you're, go <laughs> you're more than welcome to keep calm. <laughs> Detroit! <laughs> Hey, Detroit, with your judge glasses on, baby. You your judge wrong. Well, your graduation robe. Gown, baby. And your objection is overruled, Mr. Brown. Okay, now. Her mother is as guilty as her stepfather. She let him come into their lives. She let him get closer to Blake. She did absolutely nothing to help her daughter. What kind of mother doesn't believe her own daughter? Definitely not a loving mother. Mm -hmm. Oh, here your ass go. Mr. Goddamn Cole. I must remind you. Wait, I must remind us all who you are. Mr. Cole. Wait, Liam Cole. Multiple convictions for grand theft, violence, suspended, uh, sus wait, sus suspected of being a part of Vince. Vince's gang, child. Objection, Your Honor. 
This has nothing to do with him. Objection sustained. That's enough, Mr. Brown. What I'm trying to say is, how can we know that you're telling, that you're saying, what you're saying is the truth, Mr. Cole? My past doesn't define who I am. According to you, everyone here is lying. Well, except for your client, of course. Is that all you have? You're not the one asking questions here. You have no evidence against Blake. Your client is evil. That's all there is to tell. What about the day you stopped your girlfriend from killing her mother? That's a lie. It never happened. Blake would never do such a thing. She's too nice to hurt anyone. I like to call my last witness to the goddamn stand. What? Agatha Turner. What? No. What is she doing here? I know this woman. Who is she? I don't know. Some Sometimes I see her in my dreams. But I always thought it was just a dream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who is she? And why didn't Jack tell us? Look at Aggie, y'all. Kate's my niece. Her mother is my sister. Is your sister here today? No, she didn't see Kate for years. So she ain't... Oh, yeah. Okay. Do, um, do you know why? She kicked her out when she was pregnant. I must admit that's pretty sad. What happened next? I welcomed her to my place and I helped her. She gave birth to Blake, but she didn't have anything. No job, no money. So she, deci so she decided to leave Blake with me. I had a beautiful house, a nice situation. She told me that she would come back as soon as she could find a job in an apartment. I knew it was probably hard for her to leave her baby. So I told her I she could come and see her anytime. What happened next? I didn't see her for five years. <laughs> five years. Five long years. But it was the happiest moments of my life. Blake and I used to do everything together. She was such a sweet girl. Of course she knew I wasn't her real mother, but she seemed happy with me, and I was happy with her too. What happened after those five years? One day Kate knocked on my door without warning and she took Blake. She took her away from me to live probably in a ratty apartment when she had everything with me. She didn't visit her for five years and suddenly she was there claiming to be her real mother. It broke my heart. But she was... But she was her mother. I didn't have the right to keep Blake. I knew it. So I watched her leave with Blake and I never saw them again. She never answered my calls, my letters. I lived with her for five years. I can't believe it. Your mother is such a bitch. <laughs> he, he loved calling that woman a bitch, child. Okay. Closing arguments. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. This is a big decision that you have to take today. That you have to make today. Um, you can decide to charge, oh wait, to change the life of this poor girl. To give her a fresh start, you can allow her to move on. In fact, I like to say more. You can succeed where everyone else has failed. Because in this case, everyone failed. The doctors, the teachers, they didn't pay enough attention. They didn't see that this girl needed help and yet they had all the evidence in front of them each blow each fall was a warning sec signal but it didn't see what well, but they didn't see anything they didn't do anything okay now okay but today you have the power to change everything all of the evidence points to mrs turner as a, a member of the <coughs> as a member of a jury well, of this jury, you have the duty to protect her daughter from this mistreatment. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my client is a loving mother. She never touched her daughter and her late husband as her late husband. All of those evidences are only suspicion, 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 and fake accusations. The client did everything in her power to raise her child. If you convict her, you'll send an innocent person to jail. Is that what you want to do? As members of this jury, you can't base your judgment on no evidence. What? So, I'm asking you to make the right decision today by clearing my client of all those fake accusations. <sniffs> Bitch, she better come back guilty, ho. The defense rise, please. 
the jury deliberated and they reached a verdict. So the question of Mrs. Baderman responsible responsible of mistreatment on the person of her daughter. Their their answer is yes. Silence, please. Silence. So the question did Miss uh Miss Baderman fail to assist a person in danger? Their answer is yes. Guilty, guilty. Okay. You Yes! You said this to fifteen years at present, bitch! <laughs> no, it's impossible. I'm sorry, but I did everything I could do. You went too far, Miss Spider-Man. Mm. I can't believe it. You won, Blake. <laughs> Yay! I don't know how to thank you. And um, Mr. Miller. Uh, don't worry about that. Trust me, it's nothing. But we're not done. We'll still have to uh, see each other. But I don't want to bother you with that right now. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Just enjoy your victory. Okay, bitch. Okay, okay, bitch. Okay, okay, bitch. <laughs> Look at Liam. He get mad. Why you just standing there, Miss Turner? How do you feel? Is everything true? Get away from her. Why is this great over the damn screen? I won. I won. I won. I shot the BB gun. They believe me. You lost. You lost. You ate tomatoes. I'm free. How do you feel? I'm happy. I'm finally free. I won't have to live with her again. And it's all thanks to you. I wouldn't have had the strength to do it without you. I'm glad she finally got what she deserved. And I'll always be there for you. But what am I going to do now? They're going to... Where are they going to send me? We'll find a solution. Everything will be fine, I promise. I hope so. Blake, do you trust me? Of course I do. Then I, uh, then you know that I'll always be there to help you. I'll never let you down no matter what, right? Yes, I know that. But why are you telling me this? Because there's something I have to tell you. Is he about to tell her about her fucking father? Bitch! Ah. Okay. Okay, y'all. Give me a minute. And then I'm going... Okay, I'm about to post this. Give me a minute. I'm about to take a moment to probably go eat or something. And then I'm coming back. And then I'm recording. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Just give me a moment.